Welcome back. This is day two of two-step equations practice, and let's kind of review a little bit from yesterday. Once again, we are talking about equations. Equations have equal sign, and on the two sides of the equ equal sign, you have values when all the operations are done that will be equal to each other. And we kind of go through the equation to solve for the variable, what we do is we use the inverse operation. If I look at it as like a puzzle. If you do this, then you can do this. There's different moves you can make. It's kind of like a game. Um, some moves are allowed and some moves would not be allowed. So we're gonna look at some today that have multiplication and subtraction. And we're gonna start with the subtraction. Technically, you could start with the multiplication, but it's a lot easier if you start with the subtraction. So let's dive into some examples. So here we have two x's, two times x minus three equals seven. So we are going to start with the subtraction. We do the inverse operation, which will be plus three, add that to both sides, and we get two x equals 10. Now we have two times x, the inverse operation would be dividing. So we're gonna divide both sides by two. Um, negative three plus three equals zero. So that got canceled as people like to call it. For me, I just think of it as it became zero. And then two divided by two is one. You could write one x, but typically we just put x because that means that there's one. And then 10 divided by two is five. So x equals five. And you can take this five and you can plug it in up here. You would have two times five, which is 10, minus three, which is seven, equals seven. That is correct, so that is the value for x. Let's look at another example. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna do the subtraction. We're gonna get rid of this number. Well, the opposite of subtraction is addition. So we're gonna add to both sides. Over here, we get five x because negative two plus two equals zero. So all we're left with on this side on our balancing act is 5x and then 8 plus 2 is 10. This is multiplication. We're going to do the opposite, which is division. We're going to divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so we're left with x equals 2. Okay, see how that works. And we're going to do one last example. So once again, we're going to do plus 6 on both sides. We get 3x equals 27, divide both sides by 3, and x equals 9. It's just that easy. So yeah, go um, do your practice for today, and we'll talk to you again soon.